It is Halloween night, and everyone is busy decorating pumpkins. There has been a power cut, which has made all the lights in the house turn off. Oh dear, there must be something wrong with the electricity. Don't worry, I'll get the torches. <laughs> oh my! Mummy Pig has found the torches. Here we go. Now we can all see. <laughs> but I'm afraid the pumpkins will have to wait until we fix the electricity. I know. We can look for ghosts in the dark. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm a bit scared of ghosts. Can I keep my eyes shut? OK, I'll help you get around. Ghosts! George <laughs> wants to look for ghosts too. Sorry, George. You're too little. Huh? It will be too scary for mm -hmm. you. Now, follow me. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are looking for ghosts in the very spooky living room. <gasps> It's a ghost! <laughs> it's not a ghost. It's just Gerald. Sorry, Peppa. I can't see with my eyes shut. <laughs> <laughs> this is the spookiest room in the house. Now everyone is looking for ghosts in Peppa's bedroom. <gasps> The ghost is not a ghost. It is George in a blanket, and he wants to help look for ghosts too. Ghost! Ghost! OK, George, you can come with us. But it will be very spooky in the hallway. <gasps> no! George doesn't think it will be spooky at all. <laughs> It's extra, extra dark here. It's dark everywhere. Huh? Oh dear, Peppa's <gasps> torch has gone out. It's too dark. Now, now, there's nothing to be frightened of. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> The lights are back on, but now oh. there is a big mess. It was just a fuse. Oh, what happened? Uh, I think we must have a ghost. Peppa and her friends love looking for ghosts, but they love decorating pumpkins even more. George! Tonight, George is having a sleepover with Edmund Elephant and Richard Rabbit. All right, everyone. Time for bed. Don't worry, Mummy. I'll make sure they all go to sleep. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Come on, then. Into your sleeping bags. Quick march. Peppa likes being in charge. Well done, Peppa. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs> Only joking. Huh? You can't go to sleep yet. There's lots of fun things you have to do first. <gasps> George has never had a sleepover before. He is very excited. First, we have to have a midnight feast. Ah! Ooh. Oh, you've turned into ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I know a spooky story about ghosts. George, Richard and Edmund love stories. This is a ghost story about a muddy puddle that wasn't muddy. Ahem! Paranormal apparitions, or ghosts as they're commonly known, do not exist. It is scientifically impossible. Edmund is a clever clogs. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Can I tell a story? Um, okay. 
Ahem. Once upon a time, there was a giant pig and a, a very small rabbit. Squeak, squeak, squeak! And they chased each other forever and ever. <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good story. Oh, I've got another one. This one is about... George, Edmund and Richard have turned into ghosts again. <laughs> Silly George. <sighs> oh, do you know what's next? Yay! We have to stay up very late until, <gasps> um, 100 o'clock. Ready? Oh. I don't think George understands sleepovers. <laughs> How's everything going, Peppa? They're fast asleep, Mummy. Well done. I think you've earned a midnight feast. Hooray! George and his friends like playing sleepover games, but they love to sleep. Today, Peppa and Susie are playing in the treehouse. Oh, hello, Susie. Do come along in. How awfully, terribly kind. They're pretending to be grown-ups. We should have a big, delicious cuppa. Gosh, we are having lots of weather, aren't we? <gasps> Someone is at the door. Sorry to interrupt. Your oh. mummy is here to take you home, Susie. Aww. But we were going to have a tea party like grown-ups. Can we have a sleepover in the treehouse, Grandpa? Please? Oh, um... Of course <laughs> you can. You and Susie can sleep in the treehouse and Grandpa Pig and I will camp out here to look after you. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa and Susie are Yay! very excited to have a sleepover in the treehouse. Here are your sleeping bags, <laughs> pillows, <laughs> lots of cuddly toys, <laughs> and the best bit, a special starry lantern. Wow! wow. Ta-da! <laughs> All finished. Oh. Huh. Suppose I don't need these. Grandpa Pig is excited to sleep in the tent Whoa. too. Whoa! Ah, or perhaps I do. Once he has rebuilt it. <gasps> <laughs> it is bedtime now. So Granny and hmm. Grandpa Pig are going to their tent. Good night, you two. We're just here if you need us. <laughs> <gasps> Look, Susie. My shadow's really big. Ooh. <laughs> Mine is a bird. Tweet, tweet. And mine is a butterfly. <laughs> Okay. There was a really loud noise. Gosh. Hmm. Hmm. Ah! Oh my goodness! Is it a monster? Oh. Hmm? Oh. oh. <laughs> no monsters here. Just Grandpa <gasps> Pig snoring. Peppa and Susie love sleeping oh. in the treehouse. What's, what's all this then? Oh, dear. <laughs> Even with Grandpa Pig <laughs> snoring next door. Today, Peppa and her family are in the fancy dress shop. They're looking for a Halloween costume. I hope we haven't left it too late to find a costume. Next, please. <laughs> Can I have a spooky vampire costume, please, Miss Rabbit? Sorry, Peppa. Mm. I'm afraid we've just sold our last vampire costume. <gasps> oh. Uh, not to worry, Peppa. We'll find a different costume that's just as good. Right, Miss Rabbit? 
Uh, of course. Let's go and look. <laughs> Peppa is trying on different costumes. Ta-da! She tries a lemon. Lemons aren't as spooky as vampires. She tries a lovely flower. So lovely. It's lovely, but it isn't spooky. And even a... Whoa! Pencil. Gosh, hmm. how unusual. <laughs> Do you have any... Oh. Spooky costumes left, Miss Rabbit. <gasps> I'm afraid we're all sold out. But we do oh. have some spooky bits of costume left over. Maybe you can make a brand new monster, Peppa. Yes, let's go. Yay! Oh. <laughs> Peppa and George are looking for things to oh. make a spooky costume. What about these monster teeth? <laughs> Now my tooth is spooky. Look, Peppa, bat wings. <gasps> Very spooky. <gasps> Dinosaur tails are very spooky, oh. George. <laughs> spooky hat, spooky <gasps> face paint, spooky spider web. <laughs> Why don't we try these on? <laughs> Peppa is trying on her brand new <laughs> monster costume. Ah! <laughs> My word! That's the scariest costume I've ever seen! It's perfect! Peppa feels very spooky in her Halloween costume. <laughs> Peppa loves making spooky monster costumes. But Mummy and Daddy think the price is quite spooky too. <laughs> Four tickets, please. Four popcorns, please. Four drinks, please. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are at the cinema. Peppa's favourite book has been made into a movie. <laughs> Silly George, we're not seeing that scary ghost movie. Ours is really fun and not scary. Scary ghost <laughs> movies are only for grown-ups. Uh, oh, excuse me. Excuse Sorry. me. Oh. Uh, oh. Sorry. <sighs> <sighs> the seats in the cinema all fold up when they're not being used. But George's seat is folding up when he's sitting in it. Excuse me. Coming through. Watch your toes. Luckily, Miss Rabbit has a special booster to hold the seat flat. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. No problem. Me again. <gasps> Who spilled popcorn? <laughs> George doesn't like it when the cinema gets dark. Whoosh, whoosh. Yay, it's starting. <gasps> <laughs> George doesn't like the loud sounds either. <gasps> it's the baddie. Yeah, oh dear. George thinks the baddie in the movie is a bit scary. Maybe we should take George outside. But you can't miss the movie. Peppa has thought of a way to make the baddie less scary for George. Hello, George. It's me. I'm just pretending to be a buddy for the movie. I'm not really scary. Not scary? No. And this magic wand oh. will keep you extra safe. Wait! 
Rush! <laughs> Rush! <laughs> Plus, at the end of the story, everyone lives happily ever after. Ooh! Happy! <laughs> Rush! Shh! <gasps> Sorry! Everyone loves going to the cinema, and George really loves movies with happy endings. Ooh. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are making special Halloween treats. These monster eyes are tasty. Why don't you two decorate these cupcakes while I finish making dinner? Hooray! Splendid! Here you are! Daddy Pig is making the icing for Peppa and George to decorate the cupcakes. The colours are changing! Magic! <laughs> Halloween magic! Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's not magic, I'm afraid. Just some fruit colouring. Oh, will it still taste good? Fruit colouring only changes the colour. Everything else is still... <gasps> Delicious! Mm. Delicious! <laughs> Peppa is making a spooky pumpkin cupcake while George makes a green dinosaur. Hello, George. I'm a spooky pumpkin cake. <laughs> Peppa and George have finished decorating all the cupcakes. Now, we're almost ready to eat. I just need to get Mummy Pig from the garden. Mmm! I love spaghetti and garlic bread. Hmm. All the extra fruit colouring has given Pepper an idea. Should we do a special Halloween trick on Mummy and Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are using the fruit colouring to make green spaghetti and purple garlic bread. <laughs> Goodness, what happened to dinner? <gasps> <gasps> ah, you've added fruit colouring. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig has his own idea for a Halloween trick and treat. <laughs> Spaghetti is green, <gasps> and the bread is purple. Ho, 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 ho. Yes, it's a Halloween trick. But it's just fruit colouring, so the food is still all yummy. Yummy tweet! <laughs> <laughs> a Halloween trick. Brilliant. You really got me. <gasps> and you used fruit colouring to turn my water orange too. <laughs> No, Mummy. That's just orange juice. Oh. <laughs> Peppa loves Halloween tricks almost as much as she loves Halloween treats. The treasure train is on its way! Choo-choo! Yay! Peppa Pig and Danny Dog are driving a train full of gold, silver and... Broccoli! <laughs> Is broccoli treasure? Yes. It's special broccoli made of sparkly diamonds. Pepper mm. and Danny aren't really driving a train. They're using their imagination to pretend. Hooray! Stop! <gasps> In the name of... Um... Robbers! <gasps> oh, no! Pedro Pony and Susie Sheep are pretending to be train robbers. Can we have all your treasure, please? <laughs> no. Oh, OK. <laughs> You're supposed to steal the treasure, Susie. <laughs> oh! Ha-ha! <laughs> we have stolen all the treasure! Hooray! <sighs> What do we do now? You escape. Oh, yes. Yeehaw! Whoa! <laughs> Come back, you naughty robbers. Now Peppa and Danny are pretending to be police officers. They're going to catch the robbers. Oh. Yay. You caught us. 
No, we didn't, because, um... Ha! Your mm. boat can fly! Whoa. Um, Madame Gazelle, can ships fly? Real ships cannot fly. Oh! But pretend ships certainly can. Hooray! Wow! Now Pedro and Susie are in a flying boat. Oh, um... <gasps> oh, a train can fly too! Whee! Police officers Pepper and Danny have almost caught the robbers. <gasps> Home time! Oh. <gasps> Is it a giant? No, it's a daddy pig. And he's coming to take you home. <laughs> Charge! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Peppa? We're pretending to fly our boats and trains, Daddy. <laughs> oh, my! What an imaginative bunch you all are. Oh, aha! Peppa loves imagining things. Everyone loves imagining things. <laughs> Granny Pig is very excited for her big, exciting surprise. Ta -da! Ta -da! Happy birthday! <laughs> Oh, how lovely. Look, Granny, you've got to blow out your candle and make a wish. Ah, yes. <gasps> but we've got to sing happy birthday first. Oh, of course. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, dear. It started raining on Granny Pig's birthday party. Let's find cover. Peppa and her family have decided to have Granny Pig's party in the greenhouse, away from the rain. Ah, much better. <laughs> <laughs> At least we won't get wet. And the candle didn't go out. Oh, yes. I'd better blow it out and make my wish. <gasps> but first, we have to finish the happy birthday song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> There's a snail on that sandwich. <gasps> hmm, maybe the greenhouse isn't the best place for eating. <laughs> Lucky it stopped raining. Back outside, everyone. <laughs> Granny's party is now back in the garden, under Grandpa's Yay! apple trees. Jelly, my favourite. Happy, Happy birthday oh. to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh! Oh! We're trying to have a lovely birthday party, Mr. Bull. Don't mind me. Won't be long, just four to sixteen business days. I know. This way, everyone. Grandpa Pig has decided to have the party Yay! in the chicken coop. Ah, oh, hello, Jemima, Sarah, Vanessa. Lovely of you to join us. <laughs> <laughs> Pig and Cluck, happy birthday with us. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Hold on to your hats. Oh. Oh. The wind has knocked over all the food and party decorations. Oh, we just wanted you to have a lovely birthday and make a wish. Oh, Pepper, all I want is to spend the day with my family. That's my birthday wish. Really? Yes, and that cake still looks yummy to me. <laughs> Yeah! Granny Pig <laughs> loves celebrating her birthday in the garden, but she loves celebrating with her family most of all. Today, Peppa and Mummy Pig are riding the bumper cars yeah! at Potato City. Can't catch me, Rebecca! <laughs> oh, yes, I can! <laughs> Come on, Peppa! We found a new ride! It's a water ride! <laughs> I love Splashy Rides. <laughs> splashy? Mummy Pig isn't sure she loves Splashy Rides. Uh, why don't we go on a ride <laughs> without splashes? Like, uh, oh, this bench. 
Ooh, what fun! Whee! <laughs> we can go on that after. Come on, Mummy! Yay! <laughs> Everyone has arrived at the new water ride. Celery Stick Falls. Uh-oh! Stop! <laughs> oh, it is very splashy. Very, very splashy. <laughs> <laughs> Adults in the front, please. That means you, Mummy Pig, right here. Oh, right. Um, okay. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> oh. oh, this is quite lovely. Whoa. The ride is going very high up. Everyone loves to splash. <laughs> Yoo hoo! <laughs> Would you like a small splash, a big splash, or a humongous splash? Um, a humongous splash, please. Yeah. No. Okie dokie. Ready? Yeah. No. Five against one. Off you go. The celery stick falls are very fast and very splashy. There we are, nice and dry. No, oh, not again! Yay! <laughs> Yay! That was amazing! <laughs> and very, very splashy! <laughs> Mummy, what are you doing? The splashes were amazing! Let's go again! Now Mummy Pig loves humongous splashes. Everyone loves humongous splashes. Today, Mummy and Peppa have brought George Yay! to the doctors for a checkup. Hello, I'm Dr. Peppa Pig. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Peppa Pig. I'm Nurse Miss Rabbit. <laughs> and this is Dr. Brown Bear. Ready for your checkup, George? No! George <gasps> has never been to the doctors before. He is a little nervous. Don't worry, George. The doctors just want to make sure you feel good. Exactly. Come on in and don't forget your little red book. <laughs> First, Miss Rabbit and Dr. Brown Bear need to check George's height. <gasps> Step this way, please, George. No! But George isn't sure he'll like the height measurer. <laughs> How tall am I, Miss Rabbit? Wow! You're getting very tall, Peppa. <gasps> You'll be a big grown-up soon. <laughs> George wants to know if he is very tall too. Wow, you're so big and tall, George. <laughs> now it's time to check George's weight <gasps> with a special machine called scales. <gasps> this machine will tell us how much you weigh, George. And it's really good <laughs> for bouncing. <laughs> George loves bouncing. <laughs> and freeze! <gasps> mm -hmm. And unfreeze! <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to listen to George's heart with a special tool called a stethoscope. Oh. This might be a little cold. <laughs> the stethoscope is very cold. Oh. Try this, George. You can listen to my heartbeat too. George likes listening to Peppa's heart. <laughs> Yay! You did very well today, George. So you get a sticker. Oh. 
And one for Dr. Pepper Pig for being so helpful too. Hooray! <laughs> Today, Pepper and George are at a fun fair. <laughs> Hi, Pepper. Have you been in the fun house yet? What's a fun house? It's a special fun fair house that has lots of silly rooms and funny hallways. <laughs> Can me and George go into the fun house, please? Please. Hello, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Two for the fun house. To enter the fun house, Mummy Pig must buy tokens from Miss um... Rabbit. But the tokens cost more coins than Mummy Pig thought. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig. Right this way. Hooray! <laughs> Ooh! This is the rickety rackety bridge. Pass through to see the rest of the fun house. <laughs> Pepper is moving very slowly and carefully across the bridge. But George thinks it's fun to go very fast. Your way is much better, George. Whee! <laughs> Congratulations! Now you need to follow the arrows. This way, George. <laughs> These mirrors are so wobbly. The funhouse mirrors make Pepper and George look very silly indeed. This mirror makes me look so tall. And you look like you have a very big head, George. <laughs> that one makes you look really round. Round! And this mirror makes me look like Miss Rabbit. That's because I am Miss Rabbit. <gasps> <laughs> Follow me to the twisty, turny tunnel. <laughs> The Funhouse Tunnel spins round and round. Ooh! And it's very windy. <laughs> Look! After the tunnel, we get to go down the slide. Yay! <laughs> I'll help you, George. <laughs> I wonder what's taking so long. I hope they're not lost. <laughs> How was it? The fun house was really fun. How fitting. Everyone <laughs> loves the fun house because the fun house is very fun. Whee! <laughs> it is bedtime. Whee! But George isn't sleeping. So neither are Pepper or Daddy Pig. What now? <laughs> We've already read every bedtime story. There is one book we haven't read. I've been saving it for an emergency. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep? Yes, the very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a hero named... Super Pepper! <laughs> um, yes, Super Pepper. Whee! She spent all her days helping the people in her neighborhood. Uh -oh. <laughs> Until... One day, she heard about a jumping giant who wouldn't stop shaking the town. The giant won't stop jumping. I'll help you. Super Pepper found the jumping <laughs> giant. Dinosaur. Oh, yes, George, the jumping dinosaur. Super Pepper tried everything she could to stop the jumping dinosaur from jumping. Like asking him very politely? Yes. Uh, excuse me. 
Mr. Dinosaur, sir! Uh, excuse me! They tried some bedtime music. This will put him to sleep. <sighs> so relaxing. But the music only gave the dinosaur more energy. Super Pepper tried giving the jumping dinosaur a warm bath. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. She tried giving him cozy pajamas. She even tried counting stars. One, two, three, four, five. That's everything we did. There's nothing left to try. <sighs> The bedtime story has helped George fall asleep. Hooray! Thank you for your help, Peppa. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Daddy Bert. Now I'm not tired. Can you finish the story? Today, Peppa and George are playing grown-ups. Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh! Where is my bag and my hat? We're off to work now, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and what job do you think you'd enjoy when you're grown-up? Dinosaur! George wants to be a dinosaur. Hmm, I think I would enjoy being a dentist. Then I will make sure everyone's teeth are nice and healthy. Hmm, interesting. Uh, 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 hang all right. You've got lots of clean teeth, Mummy. Oh. Here's a sticker for being so brave. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Who's next? <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Silly George, dinosaurs don't go to the dentist, <laughs> they go to Dr Hamster the vet. <laughs> but you can have a sticker anyway. <laughs> I think you'd make a very good dentist. Dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> and you'd be an Excellent dinosaur, George. But I'd also like to be a bus driver. Then I could take all my friends to the park. Tickets, please. Next stop, <laughs> the park. Stop! You forgot us. Come back. <laughs> You have to stop at all the bus stops if you want to be a bus driver, Peppa. Oops, <gasps> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd be a brilliant bus driver, Peppa. But I don't just want to be a dentist and a bus driver. I also want to be a teacher. Oh. <laughs> then I'll teach everybody how to paint. You can paint a butterfly using handprints like this. <gasps> <laughs> Dinosaurs don't go to school, George. Perhaps you could open a school for dinosaurs. But when I'm grown up, I also want to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> and George will be a dinosaur. And they will always love jumping in muddy puddles, even when they are grown up or dinosaurs. Today, Mummy Pig has brought Peppa and George for a special visit to the toy shop. Hello, I'm looking for a mummy and two little ones for a special toy shop treat. Have you seen them? <gasps> That's us! Is it? Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go! Hooray! This Whoa. is where you're able to create your very own special toy. Ooh. Just swipe through to choose. You could pick a robot or a princess or a silly monster or a... <gasps> Dinosaur! 
Tiny Shoe! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you liked dinosaurs. Tiny Shoe! Tiny Shoe! Tiny Shoe! <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. They're his favourite. I guess we know what he'll be making. Have fun! Yay! Ooh, <laughs> good choice. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> a spaceman. A monster. A superhero. Pepper and George <laughs> love making their own toys. They both like very different things. Mine is a robot. Dinosaur! Fantastic! Now with a little toy shop magic... <laughs> The machine will make your toys! Lovely! <laughs> now, you just need to pick an outfit for your toys. <laughs> there are lots of different outfits to choose from, but Peppa and George think oh. these outfits are perfect for their new toys. <laughs> Hooray! <gasps> perfect! In they go! Oh dear, the toy machine has put the wrong clothes on the toys. The machine mixed up their clothes, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, well, they still look like fun toys to me. And very creative. <laughs> Flight egg is fun. Whee! <laughs> Wait for us, Peppa. Whee! Wow, what is this room? This is a special new toy machine. Whoa. Just stand here in the middle, Peppa. <laughs> what is it doing? Stay still! What was that? Ta-da! The machine has made a little toy that looks just <laughs> like Pepper. Look, George, I'm tiny! <laughs> Whee! <gasps> and so are you! <laughs> Peppa and George love making toys in the toy shop, but George really loves being a toy too. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her playgroup are at a juice factory. They're learning how juice is made. And this is the fruit squeezer. It squeezes all the juice out of the oranges. Can I try squeezing oranges, Miss Rabbit? Of course. You can all try. Hooray! Everyone is having lots of fun squeezing the oranges. But it is very hard work. That's OK, because next up, we have the juice stomper. Oh. The stomper has big boots to stomp out all the juice from the strawberries. Oh, can I try stomping, Miss Rabbit? Yes, everyone can try. Hooray! Hooray! Pop these boots on and stomp away. <laughs> It's just like jumping in a muddy puddle. Well done, everyone. Now, follow me. This is where the juice is put into cartons. We have to match the flavour with the picture on the cartons. What flavour is this one? It's red. Is it strawberry? Well done, Mandy. Press the red button to fill it up. And how about this one? It's green. So... Apple! <laughs> Spot on, Susie. And this one? It's <gasps> lots of colours. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Peppa. You've created mm -hmm. a brand new type of juice. It's rainbow juice! <laughs> Everyone thinks the rainbow juice looks very delicious indeed. This is the tasting room. It's where we make sure all the juice tastes scrum diddly -umptious. Ooh! But to make it fun, you have to guess what flavour each juice is. Peppa and her playgroup love tasting juice. <laughs> This is orange uh -huh. juice. Mmm. This is apple juice. 
This tastes like all the juices at once. That's because it's your special rainbow <gasps> juice. Yum, yum, yum. Pepper loves learning about juice, and Pepper really loves her delicious rainbow juice. Today, Pepper and her family are exploring an air show. Miss Rabbit is flying a hot air balloon. The sky is full of hot air balloons. Wow, there's so many of them. A cloud, a broccoli, a clown, a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very good, George. What's that? That is a biplane, Pepper. What is it doing? Some planes can write messages or draw in the sky. The biplane has drawn a picture of Pepper in the sky. It's me. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hello Dr. 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 Hamster. Hamster. Thank you for the sky picture. You're very welcome. <laughs> Off I go. What's this? Is that another hot air balloon? This is a blimp. It floats like a balloon but has little propellers that help it fly along like a plane. Peppa and George think the blimp is very exciting. Would you all like a ride? Blimp, blimp, blimp! blimp. The blimp is taking off into the sky. We're so high up! This is the captain's announcement. In the sky, you'll see a bird. Hello, bird. A cloud. Hello, clouds. Oh, and Dr. <gasps> Hamster. Hello again. There's so many buttons. Oh, yes. It takes lots of work to pilot a blimp like this. So please don't press any buttons. Um... <laughs> <laughs> This steering wheel helps move the blimp in different directions. Up and down and side to side. <laughs> and the radio Ooh. lets us make announcements to the whole air show. Ooh, can I make a pronouncement? I have a very important pronouncement to make. Of course. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. I'm in a blimp. Which is a bit like a balloon, but also a plane. <laughs> I hope you all have a lovely time at the air show. Oh dear, we've forgotten one very important oh. thing. Oh. A pilot hat <laughs> for Peppa and George. I'm Pilot Peppa. Pilot! Peppa <laughs> loves the air show. Everyone loves the air show. Come on, the fireworks are about to start. It's bonfire night, and Peppa is very excited. She thinks bonfires are lovely to look at. Wow! Hi, Peppa. You're just in time. The fireworks will begin in five, four, three, two, one. The fireworks are going so high. Whoa! Pepper thinks fireworks are very noisy. The fireworks are really loud, Grandpa. Oh dear. Why don't we go further back? They'll be quieter if they're far away. We're going to the back. Where the fireworks won't be so loud. Good idea. We'll come too. Excuse me, please. Us again. Oh, sorry. <gasps> Is that better, Peppa? Um, yes. Thank you, Danny. Great. Now we all can enjoy how nice the fireworks look. There's so many colours. Red and blue. And green. Oh, and yellow. Peppa is having lots of fun Yay! watching the fireworks. 
And now it's time for the big fireworks. Hold on to your hats, everyone. Bigger? Does that mean louder? <gasps> oh, my. What should we do? We can't go any further back. We'll have to go home. But I want to see the fireworks. I just don't want to hear them. Well, I know. Ah. Sometimes my granddad's garage is really loud too. So I use these. Headphones? Yes. Ooh. They cover your ears and make loud sounds more quiet. Do you want to try them? <gasps> wow! That's much better! Thank you, Danny! <laughs> no need to shout, Pepper. We can't hear the fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family have been at the supermarket. Outside the supermarket is a toy machine. Yay! Ooh! Mandy Mouse has got a toy. Look, Mummy! A yo-yo! Well done, Mandy. Peppa, George, would you like a go on the toy machine? Yes, please. How does it work, Miss Rabbit? You just buy a token and put it in the slot. Then a ball rolls all the way down to the bottom of the machine and there's a <laughs> special surprise toy inside. Dinosaur! George would like to get a dinosaur toy. How fun! You can have one try each. Here you go. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> George's token makes the machine light up and play music. A ball rolls all the way down to the bottom. Whoa! Dinosaur! Oh. George has got a toy screwdriver. A screwdriver! How useful! Dinosaur! Don't worry, George. I'll try to get the dinosaur too. Now, Pepper's token makes the machine light up and a different ball rolls all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> oh. Pepper hasn't got the dinosaur, but she has got some very nice stickers. Dinosaur! What lovely toys you got. <gasps> but look, our ice cream is starting to melt. So close. I have a feeling the dinosaur will come out next time. <laughs> Please, can we have one more go, Mummy? Please! Oh, go on then. <laughs> one more try. Hooray! Peppa and George pull the lever on the toy machine. But this time, no balls pop out. Oh! <laughs> Oh, dear. I wanted to see what toy you were going to get. Not to <gasps> worry, Mummy Pig. I can fix it. I just need to find my screwdriver. Nope. Nope. Screwdriver! <gasps> ah, oh, thank you, George. <gasps> <gasps> Yay! <gasps> Whoops! Miss Rabbit has fixed the machine too much. Now all the balls have fallen out. I'd better put these back, but I think you earned this for helping me fix the machine. <gasps> Dinosaur! <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This is for you. Eh? <laughs> Everyone loves the toy machine, and George really loves dinosaurs. Today, Peppa and her friends have come to a special adventure park. Come on, Edmund, you can do it. It's really fun. Well done, Edmund. <gasps> this room has a balance beam. 
you have to walk across it without falling into the ball pit. If you all keep working as a team, you'll get all the way through without falling into the ball pits. I'm good at balancing. Follow me. Now, George, Pepper and Edmund Elephant must cross the balance beam. But Edmund is finding the balance beam a bit difficult. Try going sideways, Edmund. We can do it together. Hooray! Everyone has made it across the balance beam. Now they must swing across this room. This looks tricky. It's just like the swing in the park, Emily. Watch this. Whee! Peppa is very good at swinging. Hooray! Hold on tight, George. Whee! <laughs> Here you go, Edmund. But Edmund Elephant is feeling a little nervous about it. Why don't we go together, Edmund, as a team? Good idea! Whee! Hooray! We did it! Thank you, Emily. Everyone has made it across the big swing. Good teamwork, everyone. One room to go. <laughs> This is the final Whoa! room, but there is no way across the ball pit. We can't jump that far. And there's nothing to swing on. Ho, ho, ho. This room is a bit of a puzzle. <gasps> Nobody knows how to solve the puzzle and get across. Oh. I've got it. But Edmund Elephant is very <gasps> good at puzzles. <laughs> A clever clogs, you know. <laughs> Everyone has made it through the adventure park. That was very clever, Edmund. Edmund? <laughs> and Edmund Elephant can't wait to do it all over again. Today, Peppa and her friends are at a go-kart track. Hello, everybody. Who's ready to race go-karts? Me! 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 Oh! Peppa and her friends put on their race suits. Red is my favourite colour. Ooh. And don't forget your safety helmets. Now, let's pick your go-karts. Yay! <laughs> Danny Dog has put his helmet on backwards. <laughs> now, the pedals make the go-kart go. And the brakes make it stop. And the steering wheel helps the go-kart turn. Whee! It's just like riding a bike. Why don't you all give it a try and start pedalling slowly? I drive a big car all the time. A go-kart should be easy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh dear, I think I went a little bit too fast. Now, how do I turn around? <laughs> the go-kart race has begun. <laughs> this is fun! But Susie Sheep is pedalling backwards. Try pedalling forward, Susie! Forward? Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Danny Dog is pedalling very quickly. <gasps> Remember to use the brake, Danny! Mummy Pig is having trouble making her go-kart go. Let's see. This makes it go backwards. Do you need help, Mummy Pig? Oh, no thank you, Miss Rabbit. I'm sure I can do it. My go-kart is too wiggly. Peppa is driving all over the racetrack. Turn the steering wheel more gently, Peppa. Oh, much better. 
Peppa and her friends like driving around the racetrack in their go-karts. There we go! Whee! And Mummy Pig has finally got her go-kart moving. <laughs> Time's up! Well done, everybody! Hooray! But the go-kart race has finished. Oh. Peppa and her friends love racing go-karts. <laughs>